Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Joe Handy here, and in this quick video we're going to show you how to manually install Lollipop on your Nexus devices. Before we begin, I just want to say that this process could be potentially dangerous if done incorrectly. As per the norm, Android Authority is not responsible if something horrible happens to you or your device. Okay, this method is essentially universal so it should work for every Nexus device. To start, you'll need the Android SDK installed and for it to see your device when you type in fastboot devices and ADB devices in the command line. We won't go over how to do this in this video because it's its own process entirely, but we do have a tutorial linked up in the video description below for you to follow if you need that. You will also need 7-zip or another tool that is capable of dealing with TGZ files and TAR files. You'll also need to grab the update from developers.android.com and we'll have a link to that in the video description as well. Make sure you download the right image for your device, double and triple check because they all have different names and there are multiple variants of some of them like the Wi-Fi only version and the mobile version of the Nexus 7 2013 edition have two different names. Finally, you'll need to have a Nexus device, obviously. Before you start the process, your computer should be able to find your device using the commands ADB devices and fastboot devices in the command line. I cannot stress enough how important this is. If it cannot do those things, do not continue with this process until it can. Step 1 is to boot your Nexus device into bootloader mode. You turn the device off, press and hold the up and down volume buttons, and then press the power button. This works on most of the modern Nexus devices, but if it's not working, you may need to search to see how it's done on your specific device. Select bootloader using the volume keys as navigation, and then hit the power button to enter bootloader mode. On your computer, you'll need to unpack the TGZ file to reach the tar file, and then unpack the tar file once more to access the folder. Inside of this folder are all the files that you're going to need. Okay, this next part is important. You're going to move the contents of this folder into the platform tools folder in the Android SDK. So select all of them, hit copy, and then paste them in the platform tools folder. At this point, your Nexus device should be nearby, still in bootloader mode. Go ahead and plug it into your computer. The last step is to simply double click on the flash all file. If you're in Windows, you'll want to double click on the flash all file with the little gear icon that says Windows batch file on the right. If you're in a Linux-based OS, you will want to use the flashall.sh file. At this point, a window should open and the installation process should begin. Do not unplug your device during this process for any reason. Seriously, it's a really bad idea. Once the install is done, your device will reboot on its own and you'll have Lollipop installed. If you have any issues or this video went too fast for you, check out the written version in the video description below. Once again, I'm Joe Hindi from AndroidAuthority.com. While you're here, why not subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel? If you're hanging out for a minute, we have a couple of awesome videos for you to watch right over there, and they're also linked in the video description below for you folks on mobile. Finally, if you need to see this tutorial again, the written version is linked up in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and have a wonderful day.